Good evening, League. It's your assistant commissioner. Um, your legit weekly points leader this past week, um, as well as the new steaming pile division leader. So that's nice for me. Uh, I'm going to come at you with my uh, mid-season power rankings. Um, these rankings are going to be uh, based on who I think has the best chance to win a championship, um, not necessarily who has the strongest team. Um, for instance, I guess that makes the most uh, uh, difference with Bloodthirsty in that he has a great record, uh, but with uh, Derrick Henry going down, you know, he's roughed up. So, so I still think he has a great chance to make the playoffs, uh, but he, doesn't, he definitely doesn't have the strongest team, but he's still going to be ranked pretty highly. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and start. Uh, Burger with Strength coming in at number 10. Uh, this is a surprise because I believe I had him ranked number one going into the season. But, you know, what the fuck do I know? Uh, I guess you should take these rankings with a, a grain of salt as well. I do think these uh, uh, three win teams in the Division of Death have a, a, an uphill battle um, just because the top of the division um, has so many wins. So there's, there's little hope of actually winning the division. So you're basically fighting for a wild card here. So so the three win teams in the Division of Death, I think uh, if you don't go two and zero over the next uh, two weeks, I think I think you're I think you're in trouble. Uh, so burger with strength, Patty Mahomes. I guess this QB sucks. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, number nine I have uh, LA Riot. Um, Again, you know, it's not a bad team. Uh, Josh Allen is a beast. I'm real interested in uh, Michael Pittman uh, these last few weeks. I think that's going to be, um, you know, if you if you decide to start rebuilding, um, you could do it if you have Josh Allen for another year and then Michael Pittman. I mean, that would be a, a hell of a core to uh, to rebuild around. So, um, number eight, up in smoke. Again, this rounds out the bottom of the uh, division of death. Um, it just, it's just an uphill climb. And I said a few weeks ago that, that I didn't think this was a bad team, and, and I still don't think so. Um, just, a, just a bad record, even though coming in uh, on a three-game win streak, um, still an uphill battle. Uh, number seven, uh, your mom's ex-boyfriends. I believe this, uh, this is the weakest team in the, uh, uh, the steaming pile division. So... Um, He's he's hanging in there. He's doing. Uh, he's putting together. He's cobbling together a good team uh, from the waiver wire, um, and he still has Devontae Adams and, and Kyler Murray. So, so we'll see. Uh, he's definitely still in it, uh, but he is coming in at number seven in my power rankings. Number six is the other uh, three win team, uh, but he is in the uh, steaming pile division, and that is Ragu. Um, so I'm putting him in at number six. I think he's got a fine team. Tom Brady, yeah. Yeah, he's got a real good team. Um, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if he won the division. I wouldn't be surprised if anyone uh, in our division won the division. So that's number six. Uh, rings around Guido's Uranus. And uh, at number five, I've got, uh, that was my first Asian. Um, again, we've got just a ton of parity in, in our division. Um, and I think he, he has a solid team. Um, a better team, uh, actually, than... Um, so I have him at number five. He has a better team, I think, than the number four in my power rankings, which is Bloodthirsty. And again, um, I just think he has a really good chance of making the playoffs with his, with his six wins already. Uh, but that Derrick Henry loss is just, I mean, that's, that's devastating. And I, I don't know about his, his chances to win, win the, uh, chubby, but, um, you know, you make the playoffs, who knows what happens. He already has six wins. So that's why he's coming in at number four, even though he might be actually number nine or 10 in actual strength of strength of team. So, uh, the, third best team in my power rankings is RBF, that is Roast Beef Firecracker. Um, he's getting wins. He's been solid all season, and he has a solid team. Um, so yeah, I like his odds. I like his odds to make the playoffs. I like his odds to take the division. So, 
Uh, we'll see. Number two is myself, uh, Carson City Con- Conolingus. Um, I'm hanging in there. I'm the division leader, even though I lost CMC early in the year. Um, I mean, if he comes back and starts hitting, I'll have CMC, Jonathan Taylor. I mean, sky's the limit for my team. So uh, I'm putting myself at number two. Number one, um, no surprises here. It is Dirty Water, contender every year. Um, also with six, six wins, I don't know that I care for his team. He's got um, quarterback trouble, um, but he's got Cooper Cup, you know, a solid RB core with Kamara and Harris. So, um, yeah, I think uh, with the six wins and the strong team, uh, I think he's playoff bound. And, um, you know, we'll see how strong a- a- anyone is when they get to the playoffs. So, uh, again, that's um, number 10, Burger with Strength. Number nine, L.A. Riot. Number eight, Up in Smoke. Number seven, Your Mom's Ex-Boyfriends. Number six, uh, Rings Around Guido's Uranus. Number five, That Was My First Asian. Number four, Bloodthirsty. Number three, Roast Beef Firecracker. Number two, Carson City Cunnilingus. And number one, Dirty Water. All right, we'll catch you hopefully next week.